Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how I deal with my children being in a public school system that, for the most part, is run by idiots. All right, the people that are making the decisions regarding public school and the actual curriculum are fools. I don't buy most of what they go by. All right, I don't approve of it. I don't agree with it. For example, I don't agree with them teaching very young children sex education. Far too young to actually need to know those things in life. I also don't agree with them, you know, pushing this whole gender option notion. Uh, and that is that people can be either male, female, trans, gay, bisexual. People can transition into other things later in life. And all of this is supposedly, supposedly normal. I don't appreciate that shit at all. I also don't appreciate that they teach the kids to basically be victims, be victims of bullies, be suckers to a bully. My kids know way different than that. I never would adhere to that kind of teaching, okay? But what I do in general to offset this nonsense that my kids are being taught is since my kids were able to understand language, I always taught them and reiterated to them that we live in a world that is confused. Society in general, the masses, the majority are confused about a lot of things. They're foolish about a lot of things. It is very important that you understand that just because the world is doing something or saying something doesn't mean we do it. We hold ourselves to a different standard, to a much higher standard than most, than the rest. So my kids have been hearing this kind of thing since they were infants. And they understand and they know that at the end of the day, no matter what happens in school, no matter who is telling you, a teacher, a principal, counselor, any adult figure, you listen to what your father taught you. And at the end of the day, if ever one of these people is telling you to do something that you don't agree with, you feel is not right, you never do it. Just because of the fact that they're an adult. Do not listen blindly. You tell them that my father told me I shouldn't do things that I'm not comfortable with, you call him and you handle that with him. And when it comes to the bullying thing, you know, I've taught my kids again that society teaches you that you're supposed to run to the teacher and tell the teacher and then the teacher does nothing and then you get bullied again, it'll keep on happening. My kids understand that from the first moment of the incident, they warn the other child Stop. Stop bothering me. Leave me alone. Stay away from me. And if any kid ever puts their hands on them, my little girls are know how to hurt people. They know how to already protect themselves at these young ages in the, in the best way that they can, that they're able to. And I told them, you, you're, it's okay for you to hurt somebody if they're bullying you, if they're trying to pick on you, or they're touching you in any way, or they hit you in any way. It is okay. Don't worry about it. Even though... The schools are going to all flip out like it's the end of the world. You just remember what I told you to tell them. Call my father. Call my father and deal with him. And I will always back them up. I don't give a fuck about it if they get thrown out of school. None of that nonsense matters more than doing the right thing. Okay? So there are a lot of different ways that this comes up in life. Okay? Um, it's very important that we teach our kids to do the right thing, not what society is currently promoting as the right thing, but the real right thing. To understand the difference between good and wrong, right and wrong. So the story that I'm going to share with you guys is something that sounds stupid when I say it, but it was a serious issue at the time for one of my daughters. And that is, um, like once a month, they had this big climbing contraption brought into the school. My daughter's eight years old at the time, and they bring it into the gym, and for that gym class, for that day, they have the kids climb this thing. It's like a giant obstacle course, and it goes pretty high. It goes like 20 feet high, whatever. One of my children, the one I'm mentioning, doesn't like to do stuff like that. She feels very uncomfortable, very nervous. She gets very anxious just thinking about it. So... The first time I heard that there was an issue, I said, listen, just tell your teacher that you don't want to do this part and to skip it for you. She said she did that, and he ignored her, and he told her to do it anyway. 
I told her to say something one more time again to them. Tell them that I don't want to do this. I'm not comfortable doing it. She did that again. She came home and she said, Daddy, they made me do it anyway. And she was crying now. So the following time that that gym period came, she was crying in the morning before school just because she was anticipating that she was going to be forced to do this thing. So I called the school and I asked to talk to the principal. I get the principal on the phone. I ask who's the gym teacher. Okay, I said, I have a problem. I explained to her the basic of it. She said, let me call you back. I'm going to get the gym teacher on the phone. I'm going to have the school counselor on the phone. And the three of us are going to call you and have a conference call. I said, fine. They called me up, got on the phone with them. They said, what is the problem? I explained to them. For some reason, for some fucking reason, I don't know, you guys are forcing my daughter to do something that she's not comfortable doing that has nothing to do with the reason why she's in your fucking school to begin with. I didn't send my daughter to your school to learn how to fucking climb contraptions, okay? So help me understand why the fuck among the three of you who are all supposedly educated and educators, how the fuck the three adults could not figure out that this was something that should be addressed and it's not right to force the kid to do something that they don't want to do, that they're afraid to do and that they can get hurt in doing. They started giving me their bullshit, each one of them, one at a time, and I fucking ripped them up. Bottom line, they try to tell me some stupid shit about how it's very important that we instill in the kids that they shouldn't quit when they're afraid of something. Nonsense. I told them, my daughter's still young. She's a child. She's fucking crying because some stupid shit that you think, motherfucker. I said, let me tell you what the real situation is, what the reality is here. All you're doing is bullying these kids. You're fucking bullying these little children. That's it. That's all it is. And I can do the same fucking thing to you. I promise you. I can come down to that school and I can force you to fucking do some shit that you don't want to do. And you'll know how it feels to be a victim of a fucking bully. I promise you. Don't make me fucking come down there. And when I heard that, the whole fucking tune changed. And I told him, from this day forward, you never fucking bother any of my kids. Don't you fucking dare ever tell them that they have to do something that they don't want to do. Because I told them different. So let me never fucking hear any of this shit about this stupid climbing thing again. And I told, I told, I promise you, if there's ever an issue, I will fucking come down there personally at any moment. I don't care what time it is. I'll fucking come down there. And if I come down there, you will regret it. And that was it. That was it. I never heard of it again. I asked her next time, what happened in gym? Did they make you do this bullshit? She said, no, daddy, they don't want me to do it if I don't want to do it. They told me I can, but I don't have to do anything that I don't want to do again. And the point of this story is that we have to defend our children and stick up for them when things are wrong, when the school and the educators and the adults in their environment around them are fucking idiots and foolish and wrong. And how they're looking at things and how they're going about teaching children or what they're actually teaching the children, we have to counteract it. We have to counteract it. We cannot be like most are that just listen to whatever the fuck the schools say. Whatever the police say, whatever the teachers say, whatever the fucking anyone says. That's not how we should live our lives. We do according to what is right. And sometimes... That includes standing up against the society that we live in. And in my case, my girls understand very well, daddy will always back you up, no matter what. I will always come back you up and protect you. So listen to what daddy tells you and everything will be okay. Fuck these teachers. Okay? So I wanted to share this with you guys because this is not something that I speak of often, obviously. But it is something that I am dealing with. And it's something that's important that we, together, collectively, understand and start doing. Standing up to foolish people who are put in positions of power. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please share your comments. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.